Okay. Uh, okay uh, hi, everybody. Uh, this is uh, Tatwir Chess Academy, welcoming uh, everyone in uh, FIDI International Organizers Seminar. Uh, this seminar, which will uh, extend uh, between uh, 18th of November 2022 until uh, at least the 27th of uh, November, and then after that, there will be an exam. Uh, we have uh, two main lecturers, Mr. Mahdi Abdurrahim and Mr. Castro Abandu. Uh, Mr. Mahdi Abdurrahim is uh, well known to many people. He was the former uh, chairman of uh, Rules uh, Commission until the day before yesterday. And now he is uh, a member of uh, the uh, Arbiters Commission, PD Arbiters Commission. At the same time, he is the chairman of the Arbiters Commission in the Asian Federation. Uh, everyone knows he was the chief arbiter for the uh, world championship match between uh, Magnus Carlsen and uh, Nipo uh, just a few months ago. Uh, and also Mr. Casta is, uh, is a member of the FIDE Qualification Commission and he's the technical director uh, for the, um, uh, or executive director for the Asian Chess Federation. Uh, he will be also with us. Uh, we are welcoming everyone in this seminar from uh, many countries. We have uh, uh, many people, maybe uh, uh, as a start, everyone can quickly just say his name and his country uh, before, before we give the mic to Mr. Mahdi Abdurrahim from the UAE to uh, start our, our first lecture. Mr. Salah. Mr. Fidal. Hello. May I introduce myself? Yes. Yeah. My name is uh, Salem Fidal. Uh, I'm from Switzerland. And I'm in this course because it's a long time that uh, I haven't made it uh, organize a chess tournament. So for me, um, I want to go to the next level and learn more about uh, chess tournament today for organizing a chess tournament. Okay. Hi everyone, uh, I'm Craig Dubos. I'm the guy who posted the flyer in the WhatsApp chat. Uh, I'm an American British citizen living in Ireland, and um, I I uh, I organize tournaments, and I'm I'm looking to get the certification, the IO the IO norm, and and then the uh, the title itself. Thank you. Hello, I'm Joshua. And go ahead. Yeah. Hello, I'm Joshua Anderson. I am um, in the United States. Um, I am the president of the Chess Journalists of America, and I am working on an article about the various speed A um, uh, activities like this one. Um, there's arbiters conferences and, and the ones for this and so forth. So I'll be attending several of these over the next six months for an article I'm working on for this. Thank you, Mr. Joshua. Mr. Pointer, Mr. Naveen, anyone? Yes. So my, my name is Richard Pointer. I'm from the United States. Uh, I work at the St. Louis Chess Club as a scholastic chess manager. Uh, I'm interested in getting this qualification. Thank you. Yeah. Hello, everyone. I'm Naveen Kartikeyan from India. So I work for a prestigious uh, chess academy called Chess Club Black and White. And I'm also an author of a book titled Chess and Bhagavad Gita. And uh, I have my own chess company, which manufacture chess sets and uh, import electronic chess boards. And uh, uh, I'm also a video arbiter. And I'm very passionate about this arbitrating and organizing tournaments. So thank you so much for giving me this wonderful opportunity. And I'm from Lucknow, Uttar Pradesh, India. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. 
Good day all. I'm Smita. I'm also from India. Hmm. I'm an international arbiter. So I'm here to learn a lot. Thank you. Thanks to all. Thanks for the opportunity. Hi y'all. My name is Victor Hongo. I'm from Kenya. I'm a chess trainer and also the chairman of Lit Life Chess Club. And I'm really interested in organizing tournaments. So I think I'm in the right place. Thank you. Ilya and Javier. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is uh, Javier Rueda. I come from uh, Spain. From, I am the vice president of the Caja Canarias uh, Chess Club in Palmas. And uh, really interested in, in this uh, IO seminar and in working with you all uh, in the upcoming weeks. Thank you very much. Thank you. Who's next? Hello, everybody. Thanks for organizing uh, such as seminars to give us the opportunity to organize in the future some tournaments. Um, I'm Ilya Kagushak, I'm from Georgia. Um, right now I'm living in New York and um, uh, I would like to become an organizer to, to start to organize tournaments in Georgia and also here in uh, New York. Thank you. Thank you. Hello everyone, I'm Mohammed Nagy, I'm an artist from Egypt, I'm willing to learn a lot from the seminar, thank you. Uh, the rest? We have two minutes Hello. to finish this. Hello, good afternoon. Uh, my, my name is Richard Newman, and I am an attorney in the United States. I am a fair play expert and a national arbiter, and I you know, run tournaments in South Texas or in, in, in the United States. Look forward to meeting all of you, and if you need a fair play expert, give me a call. Mr. Richard. I jump in now. Who else? Mr. Hassan, Mr. Yugong, Mr. Hassan. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, this is Hassan Mahmoud from Pakistan, associate member of Pakistan Chess Federation. And uh, uh, I'm here to learn things uh, from all senior members. Uh, thank you. Mr. Milan, Mr. Milan from Slovakia, Mr. Yegon from uh, Myanmar. Yeah, uh, hello everyone. Uh, I am president of Slovak Chess Federation and I am uh, organizer of the biggest international tournament in Slovakia, Chess Slovak Open. Welcome, Mr. Mila, president of Slovakia Chess Federation. Yugong Mohamed Osman, Mr. Oh, hello, everyone. Uh, I am Yugon. I currently live in Spain. Uh, I'm really looking forward to learn something in the uh, uh, in the Freedom IO seminar. And uh, uh, thank you for the opportunity. And I would like to uh, organize some tournaments in the future. Thank you, everyone.
Who's next, please? Mr. Mohamed Al Srikant, Manuel Alvera. Um, if no one else is going, I can jump in. Okay, sure. Uh, well, um, this this will be a bit of an unconventional one, but hi, I'm Harrison. I'm from um, from England. I'm currently living in Wales for um, uni um, accounting and finance. Um, I'm not good at these. I do apologise. <laughs> um, but it's a bit unconventional because I have basically no ties to anything. Like um, I've done four tournaments as an arbiter national, and that's about it, really. So I just figured, why not give it a go? So thank you. Manuel. Hi everyone. Uh, my name is Manuel Alvarez and from the Philippines. Sorry, Mr. Nicolaus. Hi everyone. I am uh, Sandalikes Nicolaus uh, from Greece. And uh, I hope to learn uh, much about uh, organization of uh, international tournaments and uh, especially close tournaments. Or if this is possible for international master norms and so on. Okay. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Yes, hello. Good oh, this is uh, Ilaha, uh, the women grandmaster, uh, Ilaha Kadimova, the former secretary of uh, events commission. Uh, now she's here. Uh, she was the champion for uh, the world champion for under um, 16, under 18, and under 20 for girls. Uh, she was also, I think, uh, the champion of under 18 for the Soviet Union, the years of Soviet Union. Uh, she was also uh, the general secretary of women, uh, Fidi Women uh, Commission. Uh, she's a trainer as well. Am I right, Ilaha? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of titles. Thanks. <laughs> yes. Uh, Ilaha is our guest. Uh, is our, our honorary guest. She's also the counselor of uh, events uh, commission. So we can give her also a word. Yes, uh, good evening, good evening. And I'm happy to see you all. Uh, Mardi. Uh, my old friend. Uh, and uh, I'm happy, happy to see you here. So Nemirius. I hope you will enjoy the seminar, which was prepared, how to say, it was hot. Uh, um, everything was uh, so, so thoughtful. So organizers did a really great job. Um, so hope uh, you take the best from the experience of Mardi because he is very, very experienced organizer, very experienced editor. And uh, I wish you all success uh, in the given seminar. Thank you, Elaha. Thank you very much. And nice to see you again. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, Mardi. It, it makes a lot of time. I know mm -hmm. we met in India. Everybody met in India, I guess. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So I don't want to interrupt your session. So I just wanted to drop in and to wish everyone all the best uh, and take the best uh, from the so well organized seminar. Thank you. Okay, I can take your uh, picture. Il Il Ilaha, Ilaha is uh, one of the key persons to make this uh, seminar happen. That's why uh, I insisted that she she she's with us today. My pleasure, my pleasure. Thank you very and much, Sheila. Not only pleasure. <laughs> so, uh, Mr. Mahdi, did you say something about the picture or something? 
Yes, uh, first of all, just I want to introduce myself. My name is Mahdi Abdurrahim. I'm from UAE Emirates, and uh, I am international arbiter, international organizer, international lecturer, FIDA lecturer. Uh, I have been many times uh, chief arbiter, world championship, bleeds rapid, much championship between uh, Carlson, Magnus, and Ian, and I work uh, with Ilaha so many times together and many world championships. So a very good, good friendship we have with Ilaha. And even Obai, I have very good friend of Obai. More than 30 years I know him when he was yeah. in Dubai. Until now, we have good relationship. Actually, uh, this uh, seminar, I think, will be... Sorry? <laughs> you went together to Iran and... You yeah, we go together. Even it was to Iran one time somewhere and other. Um, actually, um, regarding this uh, seminar, IO seminar, um, as you know, this is beneficial for that some uh, of those people need to be a future international organizer. Okay, we try our best to give you all materials or subject about the IO, which related to IO. And uh, we have, uh, after end of the seminar, we have exam. Seminar will be online uh, by website. Uh, we create the uh, exam question on the website. And uh, I will give you the link the last time, uh, we will, uh, after two days of the end of the seminar. And then you can go and enter to the exam and answer. Uh, the passing uh, exam is 80%. Is correct, Ilaha? Is it 80%? Or seventy yeah. percent, eighty still eighty percent, huh? Yeah, so eighty out of uh, hundred. So I think everybody can pass very easily, and uh, concentrate on the some digits because many figures inside this uh, seminar, numbers or bids, uh, uh, penalties and uh, 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 fees of the bids and deposit and other some figures you have to. Uh, focus on it because this type of the figures coming always on the exam. Uh, don't confuse. And also we'll talk about the materials, standard chess materials, uh, chess pieces, board, uh, tables, hall, venue, and, and so on. And about the titles, regulation, and uh, about uh, rating, hybrid chess, online chess, and many, many things we have to talk about within these three, four days only. So, okay, sometimes maybe I go very fast, but at the end, this seminar will be, uh, this Zoom will be recorded and Mr. Obai will send you the link of the record and uh, we send you material by, by, by also by email, all materials. Okay, I am sorry, my tango English, my uh, uh, my my language is Arabic. This is my mother tango and English. Okay, I'm trying to give you as soon as I can the correct word because you know I, my my English not that perfect, but not bad. Okay, and I wish all the, the best and succeed in the event. Thank you, Mr. Rubai, for inviting me to be a lecturer of this. Uh, seminar and by 26 and by 27 Mr. Castro Abundo he will be uh, give you the lecture about the title regulation and the uh, rating regulation about the organized the international events uh, from his experience uh, he was tournament director of uh, uh, Chess Olympiad in Manila 2000, uh, 1992. Uh, he will give you uh, his ex ex experience about this event. And I wish you all the best. Thank you very much. Uh, maybe we need to take uh, some photos. So if everyone please uh, uh, switch your, make your videos on, please, everybody, just for a group. Josh Anderson, Craig, Naveen. Josh, Joshua, Craig, and uh, I think Mr. Uh, Richard. There is someone with a code here. Aya, your video on, please. Mr. Richard.
Ah, uh, yeah, I and someone. There are only two guys. Please, just uh, your videos on, just for seconds, please. No answer. So we'll just take it. We'll take. Taking. Uh, dear Ilaha. Um, are you uh, are you available at any day just to uh, meet with the guys here just to answer? They have many things to ask you about about your chess career and life. Are you ready for something like this for like one hour of chatting with the guys? Uh, well, uh, let's see because <laughs> it was unexpected. But well, let's discuss it because it's very very chatting uh, those times. I even just. Uh, you know, took uh, the time between something, everything to do. But let this guys, I will try to do my best. I don't want to promise anything, but I will try to do my best, okay? Thank you. At least you don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. But what is important actually about being international organizer? What is important is, um, okay, the seminar is theoretical knowledge, which is given and what is also important is just to have uh, to try to get an experience in any role you know even if you are a player you can try to see how organizers what they are doing if you are a bit also the same and what is important is just to try to have as much experience as you can so it's all about details actually you know and there are a lot of a lot of details you can take into account because and also um, always trying to find the way out because many unexpected things may happen during the tournament during uh, some organizations especially the recent years you know the world is becoming very unexpected so it's very very important to never give up and always try to find the solution because there is always a solution. So once again, good luck to all. And now I have to leave. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Ilaha. And uh, I hope to see you very soon and work together. Yeah, pleasure was mine to see you all. Okay, Mr. Bai, shall we start? Okay. Yeah, okay. So that was Ilaha, the world champion for uh, years, as we said, three times. The world champion for three times. Okay, uh, Mr. Mahdi. You, you, you can, you can see my data show? You can see? Yes, I think everyone can see that. Okay. So um, um, this is a feed online IO seminar, which will be started already from today until 27. November 2022, uh, the Tatweer Chess Academy is organized in the cooperation with the FIDA Events Commission, which represent uh, now with us uh, Ilaha, Councillor of the Events Commission. The student who successfully passed the course uh, uh, received the special norm from international organizers, IO norm, and the name will be published on the FIDA website, commission, uh, FIDA Commission website. The organizing committee, uh, Al Tatwir Chess Academy, the grant certificate will be application for all students uh, in this course. Uh, and the course, uh, venue, zone, platform, lecturer, myself, and Mr. Castro Abundo. And uh, uh, let's uh, start uh, first our session. How to organize international tournament? Uh, from beginning, we have to know our target, which type of event we know to or want to organize. Is it individual, team competition, knockout, what type? And we have to have a list of points and plan for our tournament. So chess competition, of all kinds need a special organization before they are held, whether it is in the Swiss or league system. Individual and team, 
maybe you want to organize Swiss system with number of 100 players or more than 100 players. So in this case, we have to plan and make a schedule for the tournament and uh, we have to appoint uh, the uh, uh, ch chairman of the event of tournament director and uh, uh, as we said that the people of teamwork for this events and uh, even to prepare invitation to send for the all uh, uh, all federation national federation and in this case uh, we have to write something in the letter invitation. Is it Swiss system, league, individual team, qualifying system, knockout system, what type of system we have? It is necessary to set a special term and condition for organizing competition worldwide. But each competition differ from the other according to that type. Level of the players will be different from level of the players. Uh, uh, of the, the tournament. For example, if, have, if we have high level of top level players, this is high level, level one, we call level one, very top level. For that, the, 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 we have to prepare uh, uh, our plan to uh, plan to be prepared very well for this high level. And main and subcommittee must be their main and subcommittee to work for this event consisting of the expert in organizing. So to be organized, if you want to organize such as event like world championship or continental championship, first of all, the organizer must have a title of IO, international organizer. So if not have this title, so this uh, event will not be rated, I cannot be give title even. So, we need expert in organization. We need senior uh, supervisors and administrator and technicals. We need technicals and we need inside the technical, there's arbiters and, and others. So we have to, for example, formation for the high organizer committee for the tournament. For example, be maybe a, a president of the federation he will be chairman of this committee and uh, maybe general secretary will be he coordinator or something or tournament director. So we have to make our plan. So must be organizer committee of the tournament and other subcommittee such as public re relation and have uh, accommodation people, transportation, technician, financial. This all we have to also arrange and make it before start any event according to the requirement. And always I'm saying according to the level of tournament, according to the level of players, if the normal players or top level players such as Grandmaster, Magnus Carson, and who's ELO above 2,600, this is level one uh, tournament. And make budget. Always we have to think about the budget for our event, what type of uh, depend of type of our level of competition, we have to set up our budget and collect the expenses needed from from hall to the tournament or league. And if, for example, said with our budget one million, so you have to add two hundred millions more as a reserve in case something happens. So you have two hundred thousand. This is reserve. Uh, twenty percent. We can say twenty percent reserve for amount of budget of that tournament and determine the best place. So always be looking for nice hall. Could be this hall in the hotel or could be in the opera somewhere very nice. For uh, uh, one of example, uh, last year world champion match between Ian and Carsten was in Expo Dubai 2020 and they create very special nice stage and uh, with the hall there were the, the, was the uh, competition. And in which match will be held according to the specifications and condition of the international or continental federation. So even we have to see which type of event, is it international event or is it, uh, if this is continental event or a FIDA world championship or official events. 
And it is uh, preferable that the whole be with international standard level. And uh, the championship is promoted in the all media. We have to think about it. Uh, go to the media, go to the uh, TV and uh, promote the, this event to, to people known about the, the our event which going to organize. And better to be inside the country and outside country by press, by television and newspaper and social media or network and so on. The tournament supervisors will prepare a schedule, must be schedule of matches, schedule. It will be program of the tournament every day, which day we start, which day will be opening ceremony, which day will be closing ceremony, the day for the, the arrival day, departure day, which day will be, and all details must be in the invitation letter. And specified the days that will be held and the place of the play, and even must be mentioned about the place, which place in Dubai, for example, Abu Dhabi, Sharjah, in Sudan, in Qatar, where we have to mention the uh, country and city and the whole, including the details and the invitation to participate. Create a complete file with the information of the team participating, who's participating in this event. If I go to the sponsorship, I want to promote this uh, event. Uh, when I go to the sponsorship, what shall I say? I said, okay, uh, Magnus Carson is coming, uh, Nipo is coming, Caravan is coming, Wesley So is coming, so many top players coming. For that, uh, people will understand or sponsor will understand this very high level of tournament. For that, maybe support you, give you some money and uh, and so on. So depend of the top level, you will get the money. And to promote, you need to have a file, complete file, everything about the players, about the teams, and level of the players, level of the teams must be mentioned in the this invitation and uh, uh, names of the players and technical and arbiter also uh, technical and arbiters who the chief arbiters who the other arbiter will work for this event press conference must be held under the supervision of the evaluator of the tournament so we have to make our plan uh, before start the any event we have to go and uh, uh, make some uh, press release. I will be press conference, maybe one month before, uh, two weeks before, then two days before, when everything uh, will be set up and everything will be confirmed that player is coming, team is coming. So two days before we can go and give information for press about the arrival people, uh, delegation, how many delegation, how many players came, uh, and so on. The tournament, so that the explain all aspects of the tournament and the names of the players and team participating in it. So this is important even for the press. And providing the good hotel, what I mean good hotel. So cannot be uh, if, if high level players, top level players, cannot uh, accommodate them in the three-star hotel or four-star hotel. So now I have to go to look for the good hotel, such as five-star hotel. If the level of the players uh, little be less, so here I can go for four-star hotel. So the so accommodation must be between four and five-star hotel and depend of the level of the tournament and level of the players. Um, in Chess Olympiad, for example, we have more than 190 teams participate in the last turn, uh, event, uh, last Chess Olympiad in Chennai in India. And uh, they divide uh, the teams in different hotels. Top level teams from one to 20 teams, they, they accommodate them in five star hotel. Then another uh, 40 teams to the four star hotel and so on until uh, some of teams go to the three star hotel. According to the level of the players and level of the teams, they accommodate the 
uh, those teams. Uh, the date and the time for the receiving the delegation of the tournament from the airport. And also important for me as an organizer, when the team will confirm they will participate and they will arrive, but we have to know information about, about flight details. What time the team or player will arrive in which hotel, uh, which, uh, which airport. Sometimes we have in one country, we have more than four or five hotels, uh, sorry, airports. So which airport he will uh, arrive and which terminal, terminal one, two, three, and what time? So we, we need flight details about uh, flight number, timing, date. This is very important for an organizer that to set up transportation and to go on time and uh, bring them and take them to the uh, to the their hotel. And uh, and must be prepared according to the prepared of transportation. So transportation will be very clear and for us if we have right information. If we have wrong information, this is the, will be other case. So sometimes uh, by mistake, uh, National Federation will send the, the flight details uh, and it's said to be uh, 2 p.m. and it's mentioned 2 a.m. So here the organizer will confuse. Maybe they send the driver, a bus, uh, then when they reach the airport, nobody come. Why? Because they send wrong details. Here, very important and must be right information they send to the organizer. Uh, agreement with the television of the country. So this is sometimes uh, we need the uh, television will be uh, cover this event every day, cover one hour, two hours, uh, according to the agreement then they can publish uh, in the, their TVs and even they make the, some link to the YouTube and other the broadcasting outside. Beside this, also we have broadcasting by electronic e-board uh, publishing uh, on the uh, different uh, websites. And also the recording of the training of the teams and the events. So sometimes uh, such as football, now we have World Cup football example in, in, in Qatar and Doha. Some teams already arrived. Uh, Argentine teams arrived to do in Abu Dhabi in UAE, now before traveling to Qatar. So we have TVs now cover training of the Argentines and the uh, fans is coming to stadium to watch uh, uh, Argentine team and other team went to the Oman, went to the some part of the, which is a close to the Qatar area uh, before uh, to go to the Doha. So here TV is covering their training and the event and tournament and so on. Uh, preparing for the opening ceremony. So we have to set up committee, subcommittee, uh, consists of one or two or three people. And they, they make all their plan and schedule for the opening ceremony and opening ceremony who, whose VIP is coming and uh, who will go give a floor, uh, feed the president of uh, our uh, tournament director and who will uh, represent of the feed if, uh, if Arkadi, for example, is not there. So all must be preparing for the opening ceremony for the tournament, inviting the participating delegates, arbiter, players, delegation officials and sponsorship and making color, draw color of the first board. So in the, during the opening ceremony, always we have draw, drawing color for first board or top players or top teams. And we see who will who play first down the white or black. Then as well as the formation of the work team to prepare the closing ceremony of the tournament and distribution the award. Even for closing ceremony, we have to make plan from beginning, what will be included in the closing ceremony? Whose people coming? Who will award? What type of awarding will be? And if there is medals, how many medals we need? Gold, silver, bronze. 
uh, if there's cup, if there's certificate, or maybe some. Sometimes we have uh, some players got their title, new title, feed a new title. Uh, so we have to prepare some gift for this uh, player or some certificate or medals. So this all must be planned before we start the that event. Uh, determine a responsible person. What I mean here must be one person from organizer. He's like uh, uh, he's a communicator between the uh, the organizer and the delegation. If delegation have some problem, must go via this guy, the the person uh, who will be link between the organizer and the participating delegation. The C to solve the problem immediately. The regulation and instruction of the tournament must be in according with the FIDA laws of chess because this is official event must be be according to FIDA laws of chess and be conditioned according to the International Chess Federation. So then FIDA events commission, we have event regulation, we have mission and members, we have FIDA calendar, which administration and annual planner, then we have bids, deposit, bids, procedure, fees, bid form, then official FIDA competition. Then we'll talk about event management and standard of chess material and regulation for FIDA events and rating regulation and title regulation. Then we'll talk about online hybrid chess regulation and online chess. FIDA general regulation for competition approved by the General Assembly and by the 2018 uh, General Assembly. Uh, prefer all the chess competition shall be played according to the FIDA laws of chess. The FIDA general regulation for competition shall be used in conjunction with the laws of chess and shall apply to all official FIDA competitions. So you cannot create by yourself because of your country, you have other procedures, for example, uh, in some countries, they stop the clock during the game because uh, maybe sometimes they have uh, 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 can say for prayer time for Muslim country. This was allowed before uh, to stop, but now it's not allowed, no more allowed, no more stop the clock. Only stopping the clock only for some reason for a place who were asking for the permission, uh, promote uh, point to queen, that he can stop the clock and ask arbiter to bring queen or any any pieces he needs. And if there is three for reputation or if there is a illegal move and something, uh, this only this type of which allowed and give authority who can stop the clock. Otherwise cannot stop the clock for any cases. And uh, the FIDA general regulation for competition shall be used as I said, uh, according to the laws of chess. And these rules shall be also be applied to all FIDA rated competition amended where the appropriate. The organizer competition and the arbiters involved in any competition are expected to be acquainted with these rules before the start of the competition. So the rules will be mentioned in the regulation and uh, uh, even the uh, arbiter, if he have uh, his teamwork, uh, assistant arbiter or deputy arbiter or much arbiter, he has to sit uh, with them, uh, small meeting and uh, discuss about regulation, which use for this type of event. In these rules, the world and uh, according to the new rules of FIDA laws of chess, which the uh, this article the, the they will be established starting from 2023, 1st January, the, they change a small world and in this rule, the world he, him and his is changed from he to he and she, and from him to the him and her, and from his to his and her. Now this is small change changes what was this year for the awarding only. And national laws of the uh, of the hosting country take a procedure uh, over FIDA rules. And event regulation, the scope, 
where an event has the situation not covered by the international rules, the rules shall be considered to be definitive. The, uh, this rule applies to the following level of competition. If organizer not follow the FIDA regulation, not follow the laws of chess, uh, this competition cannot be rated, cannot be given any title for the players. Uh, then we have level one. Level one is official FIDA events, such as uh, World Championship, uh, Chess Olympiad, and so on. So we have regulation for specific competition. And uh, then we have uh, championship, such as uh, Continental and others. So then we have federated competition. This is the level three competition. Federated competition, according to the FIDA handbook, federated regulation, these competition rules may be contain regulation defined by the other FIDA commission and which are listed in the FIDA handbook. So you can read the FIDA handbook if you, if you want more details from FIDA handbook. And the chief organizer, who's the chief organizer? Uh, the federation or administrative body responsible for the organization of the competition may entrust the technical organization to the chief organizer. He, together with the federation or organized body, may be a point of the organizer committee to be responsible for financial, technician, and organizing matter. Other rules, Herda may be applied also to the rule of the chief organizer. He had the chief arbiter must work closely. So chief arbiter must work with the organizer to ensure smooth running of the event. Uh, the chief organizer is responsible in particular. So preparation of the regulation of the events, anti-cheating staff and equipment must be ready. Dress code regulation must be mentioned in the invitation. Appropriate uh, registration of the tournament in advance, which date registration, which date we close registration, rating regulation, media regulation, and we have supervising the work of the technical staff of the competition. Then we have preparation for the planning hall and chess equipment. According to the FIDA handbook, the standard of the chess equipment and tournament venue for FIDA tournament, if possible. So, depends on the capacity of the hall, we need, we'll see how many uh, people we have, how many players we have, and we look for the venue, will be good venue, which carries all players, uh, spectators, arbiters, organizer, visitors. So, we have to look according to FIDA regulation. And, and playing area shall be provided where the smoking is permitted. So we have tournament hall, we have analyzing room, we have a toilet, rest, rest room, we have a, a smoking area if there's if, if there's allowed. If not allowed, so we cannot, uh, uh, give a room, a special room for the uh, for the smoking people. So this shall be easily acceptable from the playing area. If local uh, ordinance totally prohibits smoking on the premise, so the players and officials shall be given easy access to the outside. So we have to uh, write some notice or some signs, keep some signs, some places, this area for analyze room, this area toilet, this is for smoking, smoking area, and this is for buffet or rest area. So must be some signs there uh, close to the area and to, to guide, uh, guide the players and, uh, and organizer to follow the sign and go which they need to go. So if the smoking is completely prohibited, it shall be announced in the regulation. 
So you have to announce from beginning in the regulation, so no smoking area, not allowed to smoke. In case you find someone or some players is a smoke, so here arbiter can go and use uh, uh, laws of chase according to article 12.9, maybe give him warning first time or how maybe make him lose even. All games must be played in the playing area at the time specified in the advance by the organizer, unless otherwise decided by the chief arbiter. Because sometimes we have big event, maybe more than 500 people, 500 players. So the whole uh, don't have this capacity to carry this all players. Or in this case, they divide, maybe 300 will be in one hall and other 200 will be in one hall. Other, other case, we have hall with a, with a good capacity can carry all the players, but the chief arbiter uh, with consulting with the uh, chief organizer, they decide to uh, make special room uh, or hall for top 10 players or 10 uh, top 10 boards to be other room for okay in this case uh, if the uh, chief organizer uh, accept uh, and approve and they can shift it to the uh, shift them to the other room for FIDA events level one with the 30 players or more 30 players or more at any stage a large digital timer or clock shall be installed in the playing hall why? Because this is easy for the player, easy for the arbiter, and to watch the hall and see what time he has to start, on time will be to start. But if there is no clock, so sometimes chief arbiter using his, his watch, maybe his watch not correct fixing, maybe two or three minutes behind, so we will start uh, not on time, maybe one player is coming late for by one minute and he lost the game because zero tolerance. Why? Because arbiter watch was not correct for that. Better to be one clock, uh, official clock on the, on, the, on the tournament hall. And this is the official. Anyone come late, so we look to the official clock and the world said, this is the official, we follow this uh, with this clock. For FIDA event with the fewer than 30 players, so if 30 players and more, we have to uh, install one official clock. If less than 30 players, here, arbiter, he has to announce, chief arbiter, he has announced before five minutes, game start. Then before start the game, one minute, then he said, now one minute to start, the all players must be ready and shake hand with the opponent and then start the, the game. For even commission, the mission, there, scheduling and monitoring of the annual bid procedure for FIDA events other than world champion. And guidelines, but also the, the FIDA event, the, their mission is to guidelines for the organizers, seminars and title and recommend guidelines for the calendar administrators. They recommended guidelines for the rules for registration, transfer, then recommended guidelines for the financial regulation and for regulation for the FIDA events and also for a respective continental championship other than world champion. And now we look for the member, the rule for, for events commission. We have uh, some members from yesterday uh, today they changed the new members who appointed to the uh, rules commission uh, to the events commission, uh, as we can see in the FIDA website. The sorry, events commission. Where's the events commission? This. Yes. Now, Mr. Akaki, 
he's became a chairman. The, the previous was honorary uh, uh, Osgur. Osgur now became honorary chairman. And uh, uh, we have Ilaha as a consular. She was a secretary of the, of the events commission. And this all members from different continental. So as a FIDA status must be consular for consular from each continental. So from Europe, we, we have uh, uh, um, Ilaha. From Asia, we have uh, Hamad Tamimi. Um, we have four store. I think uh, she's Francisca from uh, America, I think. And uh, we have uh, Yuan. So from different uh, uh, continental, we have one consular. Then they have uh, some numbers, even the select from a different continental for continentals. So all they are member in the events commission. But in case we have to uh, communicate with the events commission, we have go through the secretary, Yana. She's now a uh, new secretary of events commission. So anything we have, we have to send. So after the finish uh, exam, I have to send my report to the Yana then Yana will give to Chairman Akaki and uh, from Chairman, and uh, they will uh, see your, uh, your uh, certificate and they give you a norm of IO seminar. Then we have FIDA calendar and FIDA calendar administration annual planner the calendar administrator will plan and update every four years. They update the, 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 the calendar for four year cycle for the FIDA calendar. So every four years, uh, depend of the election. So every four years we have election, FIDA election. And every four years we have a calendar administrator. He's responsible for plan for uh, scheduling and planning for the uh, events, FIDA events. So he will consult the event commission and commission for the world championship and Olympiad. Then they go the setup on the FIDA website uh, from January, which event will be and which country, which city, the city and so on. So the chief uh, administrator shall provide a schedule template for all FIDA events with assigned month and date. Which month, which date, which city, which country. So all will be in the FIDA calendar. Bits to organize any FIDA event shall be based on the assigned month and date with the possible definition. Not more than five days before known as green days. So we have something calling green days and something calling orange days. For green days, if if you, for example, if I want to organize a world championship under 10, so I have to go for the bids to organize and go for the bids and pay the bids fee sent to the feeder. I want, I want to organize world championship under 10. Okay, so we have to mention which month and which date will be uh, will will be our uh, tournament. For example, I will go. I mentioned uh, I will organize from first uh, December until ten December. Okay, so from first December until ten December, which this is my plan to organize. But when I send my bids to the, the feeder and FIDA approve for the bids. Okay, okay, now we approve to organize. But I, after a while, I decide to change the dates and instead to be uh, first December, I change it to the uh, four December. The FIDA said, in this case, if you need to change, five days before or five days after, no problem. But this is calling as green days. So the green days, 
is the uh, deviation with the not more than five days before and five days after to change the date of the event. But if you if you go for more than five days and instead to be from one December, you went to seven December. So you have five days as a green days is the free of charge. You can change, but you passed the five days. You went to the seven December. So from six and seven here, you have to pay the penalty. So uh, you have only five days to change if you go more than five days before or before, more than five days after. So in this case, you have to pay penalties to the feeder. If an organizer of feeder event wishes to deviate from the stipulated period by more than five days as a green days, the organizer shall have to pay calendar deviation fee. So there's 500 euro per day. So we have to pay 500 euro per day. Why? Because they approve for you to, to, uh, to for bets, your best to, to organize event uh, according to the, to the dates which you mentioned, you, you selected. First to 10 December. But you change it more than five days if during five days before after this is free of charge nothing to charge but you went for seven days change in this case five days will be free and you have to pay for two days more each day 500 per day 500 euros per day after the green days to FIDA will submit its bid offer, okay? So here we have five, 500 euros. This shall be with it if there is no other bids. Maybe sometime we find two countries fighting about this bid, two, two countries or two federation, they're fighting, they want to organize world championship under 10. But because the X, Federation, they have more condition, more facilities for the uh, for delegation. FIDA uh, decide to select X uh, Federation to organize uh, uh, the event. But X Federation, uh, at the moment, they not follow the FIDA uh, regulation and they change the event. And when they change the event uh, dates. Okay, they ask him to pay penalties. If they said we can, we will not pay the penalties. Uh, penalties for in this case, FIDA can go open bids again. Maybe go to the other uh, other federation. Maybe go for the Y uh, federation and give him uh, this bids, this event to organize. And this shall be with it if there is no other bids. The non-refundable bidding fee must be included when submitting this. So in this case, there is fee for bidding and this fee is non-refundable. For bidding, non-refundable. Upon the successful bid for the FIDA event, then the organizer shall pay the required deposit fee within two months. So when they approve, you, you successful, got the, your bid, Okay, you are hundred percent good to organize uh, the event, but you decide to change the date and FIDA here, you give you two months, within two months to pay the uh, deposit, fees deposit. And uh, uh, what the fee deposit for each uh, competition different from other, depending on the level of tournament then we'll go to discuss uh, how much will be for each uh, event. So you have to pay within two months. Uh, and if you didn't pay, and in this case, FIDA will go reserve the right to annual bid and reopen the bidding. They will reopen the bidding. Okay, please, now we open again. Who wants to organize uh, World Championship under 10, under 12, blah, blah. Then the World Championship cycle and Chess Olympiad shall be exempt from this rule. So Chess Olympiad, 
And world cycle is different from other events. This is depend of the global strategy in the FIDA, and they have to select uh, the, the see the bits from the country. Then we have when the FIDA event is award the organizer may be deviate from its organizer date by not more than two days and known as the orange date. What is the orange date? We said, for example, we'll give one example, UAE. UAE, the successful bid they got to organize world championship under 10, okay? And uh, everything set up well, dates, everything. Then uh, they decide for some reason to uh, postpone or instead to be first uh, December to be start uh, 6 December, okay? So in this case, FIDA said you have five days to change date if you need, only five days, which called green days. Green days, you have five days before, or five days after, you can't change the date, but you change six days, one day more. In this case, you have to pay the penalty 500 euros per uh, day, okay? Now, everything set up, uh, successful, I paid my penalties. Then FIDA announced uh, UAE will organize a world championship under 10 or blah, 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 under what category? Then suddenly after they send all announcement the FIDA website FIDA calendar everything is what's set up and installed they said no uh, we're going to change again uh, for example from uh, 6 to 10 December so it will be 10 December until 20 December so they change again in this case they said after the fix after you paid the penalties you have only two days to change. You have only two days, which calling the orange days. These two days you have to change, but they change completely uh, uh, five days more or four days more. So by each day, they have to pay 200 euros. So now 200 euros. So what is different between 200 euro per day and 500 euros? 500 euros was during the green day while in the 2,000 euros is during the orange date. So here's the difference between green date uh, and uh, orange date days. Is it, uh, is it clear for you what is different between orange and uh, uh, green? So green always five days before deviated and uh, five days after. Uh, in green, you have only two days, so no more than two days, known as green days. So otherwise the organizer shall be penalized with the calendar change fees uh, of 2000 euros per day after detecting the orange day. So now uh, the, our calculation will be like this. UAE change it from, from five to 10. So they have five days change. But we have two days green, uh, orange date. So we detect two days out of five. So we have three days. So these three days we we'll give pen penalty uh, 2000 euro per day for the UAE because they change the calendar. So uh, after they pay, after they pay the penalties, now if uh, uh, the, the, everything will be okay, then they can announce for the event. But if they didn't pay the penalties within six months, so the, the, in this case, FIDA will reserve the right to reopen again bidding for the event. So uh, we'll take event from UAE, they give other, if there is another people, another country, if not another country in the list, so they open the bidding for the events. Who needs to, take this event, uh, have to pay bid again, and then feed the approved. So any organizer who is required to pay a penalty may appeal to the events commission. So sometimes maybe UAE said, okay, why I, 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 I didn't pay 
penalty within six months, I have some reason. For example, in this time, my, my in my country, maybe president of cunt, a country passed away. So we were, were busy with the country, election and so on. We, we, we didn't, we forget or didn't, uh, we didn't got the time to uh, uh, transfer money uh, to feed the account. In this case, uh, feed the uh, events commission with the sit and discuss about uh, the appeals if the uh, accept or not accept. So following the recommendation of the event commission, the presidential board shall make the final decision. Maybe presidential board said, okay, we accept without penalty to postpone the dates of calendar. Then the calendar shall include all FIDA and continental events, major events, tournaments, major international open may also be include the request of the relevant organized. So in the FIDA calendar, uh, we can see all FIDA official event, world championships, cycles, and you can see Grand Prix, world champion, uh, FIDA, FIDA Chess Olympiad, uh, Chess Olympiad for under 16, and you can see continental event, America, Africa, Asia, Europe, and, and so on. So all events will be in FIDA calendar. And the continental president shall plan their event on the base of their event do not clash with the major FIDA events. So always we have, if I am in the Asian continental, we have to look at the calendar, FIDA calendar, we see which official events in the FIDA calendar and which date. So according to that, I make our plan, make our calendar for Asian Chess Federation or Europe, or Europe continental or African continental or America, we make our uh, plan uh, according to the FIDA, FIDA uh, official calendar, so not be clash. So don't be clash with the major FIDA events and the presidential board uh, reserve the right not to recognize event which clash with the FIDA event. In case uh, I didn't care about FIDA, FIDA events, I made my plan as a continental and the uh, world champion, uh, uh, Asian, for example, Asian Continental Championship was in the same period with the world championship. So the clash, same period. Okay, in this case, maybe if you do not recognize our event, maybe cannot go for rating or for titles because it was clashing. All national federation and major organizers should plan their event on the base that their event do not clash with the major FIDA and continental events. So even federation, national federation, if they want to organize their event, and it has to look at uh, FIDA calendar and continental calendar to not be clash. Because maybe I have uh, some players, maybe they are qualified, to play in the world championship or, or, or continental championship. But in this period, because I have my event uh, clash with the date, so there is no chance for the player to play on the top level. Maybe maybe he wants a title or he wants a norm for title. So uh, because of clashing dates, cannot play in a top level tournament. An event shall be listed on the calendar, provide sufficient information such as date, venue has been received by the chief calendar administrator and appreciate time before the start of the event. Then we have uh, invitation, the announcement of the relevant details must be distributed and made available at the appropriate time, normally at least four months before the start the event. So when we start the when we send the invitation for the federation of players, four months before the start official event, four months before. So then this regulation shall be enforced with effect for event to be open for bidding after the Caracol Presidential Board meeting 2099. 
Then we have regulation may be changed by the presidential board, take effect three months after such decision are taken. So always we have uh, something like ex exception can change the regulation. Who the change the regulation? The the feeder councils or or or. Uh, executive board the presidential board can they change the the period depend their uh, decision whether necessary the presidential board reserve the right to make ex exception to this regulation and FIDA shall endeavor for that this an annual calendar planner be observer strategy. So if you go to the FIDA calendar, we can find all these details of events and uh, official event, major FIDA events, and uh, uh, world cycles and Olympiad and continental event. Let's go to the calendar and see what we can find on this calendar. So <clears throat> as I said, calendar will be for four years from 2020 until 2026. So we have to look for the calendar. We have world events, FIDA Council Congress and other official events, European events. <clears throat> we have American events, we have Asian events, we have <clears throat> African events. So this is all event. Let's start with world events 2022. Uh, then we have in Jerusalem, we have uh, from 19 November. So from, from tomorrow, we have a world team championship in Israel. So we have then next event, 28 November, FIDA Women's Candidate Tournament. It will be in Kiva, Uzbekistan from 28 until 11 December. World Rapid and Police Championship, Almaty, Kazakhstan, from 25 December until uh, 30 December. Then we have European Championship. This is calendar for 2022. Then we have European Championship. So we have GMIM tournament, uh, third Saturday, the <clears throat> start from 19 November. Then we have uh, this all type of uh, European championship, open and European uh, corporate chess championship, and European rabbit and breast championship. So until uh, last fifth relation cup, St Stockholm, Sweden, Sweden, uh, 27 December until 5 June. 2023 and this is all belong to europe then we have asian asian and they have african and so on all all in this calendar okay then we go for the calendar for 2023 we can find here 2023 many events fida events fida women's grand prix fida women's grand prix we have a third stage we have world championship match but it's not mentioned where will be much, but it will be from 7 April until 30 April, but it's still bidding, it's still bidding. We don't know which country will go organize world um, a championship match. Then we have world school championship in Greece. We have world youth championship in Batumi, world cadet in Batumi also, same period. Then we woman Grand Prix and senior and many just feeder events until World Amateur Championship 2023. Uh, then we have European calendar. If you see many, 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 many events in Europe and uh, uh, on Asian uh, schedule at the moment, only three events and uh, Africa also many events they have in America until now they are not mentioned any their events on the FIDA calendar. So if you go 2024, also you can see same thing, but uh, still not scheduled for 2024. And uh, in few days, because the new commission now and the, the uh, administrator or calendar will, uh, will prepare the, the FIDA calendar until 2026. So this is... Uh, uh, calendar and feed the calendar. 
So uh, thank you very much. Uh, now I can give you a break, then we can continue after the break. Mr. Rubai? Okay, yes. So, uh, yes. Okay, we take maybe just a short break. I think five minutes is okay. If there are some questions in the chat. Mr. Craig is asking, he's, he's saying that he's confused. About what? He wrote, I thought that FID rules must be followed, but then it, it was just said that the national rules supersede FID rules, which... What in terms of what, what, what confused? <clears throat> I don't know what, what was confused about exactly. Then he said a few slides ago, uh, Mr. Mahdi said that national rules supersede PD rules. What was he talking about? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, because you know, national, national, you know, and national federation, as I said, uh, you know, you remember, uh, in uh, yeah. some Arab country, they were using their some own uh, regulation regard, uh, regarding the prayer time. Oh, okay. start the, the game and uh, after 10 minutes come back. So this is again a FIDA rules. Uh, but they cannot do like this. And uh, if this is national event, no, inter no uh, none of international player playing in this event, only, you, for example, UAE, so in this case, they can uh, use this uh, rules uh, by themselves, but cannot use for international events. Only this is, this is the... The different, maybe they confuse. 